Martin was really like a kind of a hero figure, like a kind of local legend. Having someone so experienced in the mountains who could pass on knowledge and also had been on so many adventures was a, a real inspiration. And for me, this is by far the, the most challenging and the biggest thing I've ever done in my life. Even just thinking about the routes and thinking about the hills, I find quite overwhelming. And I think knowing the hills better now from wrecking them, I think makes it more scary in a way because I, I don't know if I can do this. First thing you'll notice about Robin is his smile. He's always smiling. I think everyone's going to say this. <laughs> He's always smiling. Uh, it lights up the room. Let's go. Right. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, let's go for it. My name is Robin. Um, I'm. Do you want Robin down here or just Robin? Just Robin's quite enough, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, probably just Robin. Yeah. So my name is Robin. I'm from Ocarin and I'm a full-time staff nurse. Um, I have a really sweet tooth, so it gives me something to look forward to, to you know, have my favourite chocolate and sweets to, to munch on throughout the day. So, yeah. So over the next 24 hours, I'll be taking part in the Martin Moran round which is a project that um, I've been planning and thinking about and probably dreaming quite a lot for the last five years. It's grown arms and wings really since I first had the idea and the more time I've spent in the Torridon Mountains and the mountains surrounding where I live, I've wanted to do it more and more and tomorrow morning at 3am I'm going to give it my best shot and see if I can do it. Probably one of the main fuels I've got is uh, Genoa cake because it's full of fruit but also it's quite dense and it's just full of calories. My favourite food for a big hill day, my emergency food, is my uh, my cheap my cheap sweets. Uh, so I've got strawberry laces, cola flavour laces, strawberry pencils, highlights from childhood and these are always my kind of treats on a long hill day. It's kind of what I look forward to when I go for a rough patch, I think I'll be be getting the big guns out, the 30p sweets. Good morning. Morning. Hi. How are we doing? You right, Doug? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's uh, I can do this help you, so. Yeah, help you. Good adventure, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, we'll probably make a start just in a minute or two. Yeah, then, uh, cool. Yeah, nice one. How are you feeling, Robin? Uh, I'm a little nervous, but um, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm just hoping I get the right lines off the hill, so. You got all the boot and everything? What, well, no, yeah. Good to go. Right, ready? Yeah. Right, let's go, guys. Good luck. Good luck. Woo! -hoo. Thanks. The Martin Round route starts and finishes in Torridon Village Hall. It starts by going up Ben Allegan, which is two minerals just on the back of Torridon. And it goes to two further corbets, which are really quite wild, towards the Gale Oxide. Coming back, it goes over another corbet and two more minerals, the Leotac, which is really quite technical ground. From there, I'll proceed on to Ben A. Um, and the triple buttress, um, which is a real special hill to me. After Ben A, I'll hit the road section, where I'll have a few kilometers on the road, and then I'll head to the Achnashell section, which were hills that were incredibly close, just a few miles away from where Martin lived. I'll head up Ben Leaf Moor, and to a few more peaks that look over the village of Loch Arran, which is where Martin lived. The final summit is Ben Danf, where I hope there'll be family members there. And from there, I'll run back to the road in Torridon, We'll have a few miles on the road to make it back to Torridon Village Hall. Martin Moran was a, a climber that um, moved to Loch Arran around 40 years ago. He had a, a real special love for the mountains and that and a real special love and passion for the mountains in Scotland and the Torridon Hills in particular. Martin died in 2019 um, on the Nanda Devi range 
of mountains in the Himalayas. And um, it was a catastrophic avalanche, um, which sadly took um, the group's lives. Sadly, Martin hasn't been recovered. Um, although it's great sadness to me that we didn't get Martin back, um, yeah, I, I feel that maybe Martin is where he, he wants to be, and that is something that I have now accepted. Tarden is, is really technical running. Um, and the routes I've chosen to link up the hills is not the, the, the routes that are advised. I would say that there's two sections that worry me more than anything else. So the first section is actually the section I start on. I'll be coming straight off the, the second horn of Ben Algon and it's, 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 quite, it's quite steep and quite technical and there's some drops if I go slightly wrong and then after that going on to the two faraway Corbett's towards Gaelic are really wild and rough and technical and there is a lot of room for navigation areas there. I think once I get to the bottom of Ben A, I think I'll feel quite a weight off my shoulders from getting that section done. Because from Ben A it's a good runnable section. And once I get down to the road, the Achmichel hills I know really, really well because they're the most local hills to me as well as they were to Martin. So I, I kind of feel that stage that I've, I've got tired and out of the way, which is, I think, most likely where something could go wrong. I would describe the, the Northwest Highland as extremely barren terrain. A lot of the hills that are here um, are completely pathless, or if there is a path, it is, it's often intermittent. You've got the occasional paths through the main valleys and the more popular peaks, uh, the Munros, for example. So the paths up them uh, tend to be quite good, but Robin's running to some of the much more remote peaks, which not many people go to. Um, and on those legs, he's going to literally be not a site of human habitation, uh, for miles around and he'll be running across untracked country. And I think that's what's really special as well about Torridon and that area is just how wild it feels. You only need to go four kilometres away from the road and you feel like you're just, you know, in the middle of nowhere. In the glens and up on the hills, you can often not see anyone at all. Um, not see a road, not be near anything, be a couple of hours running or, or hiking away from any sort of civilization. The, the peaks themselves, um, they're really geologically very interesting. You've got Torridonian sandstone, you've got quartzite as well, um, which creates these sheer cliffs and really steep-sided terrain, lots of cliffs. It's really rugged, so I don't envy Robin on some of those legs, I must say. <laughs> Martin was always keen to, to make sure that he passed on his skills that he'd learned himself to others and also, you know, be enthusiastic and supportive to, to anyone else who was doing any sort of adventure or, or challenge. <laughs> How are the uh, quads feeling with all these high steps? Nice. Yeah. Not, not cramping up though? No, tiny bit of stiffness, but no, no, nothing that I wouldn't expect. My dad gave his whole life to the mountains really you know he uh, was in them working or personally climbing in them and when he wasn't in them he was sat at his desk uh, writing about them thinking about them there was nothing martin liked better or loved better than coming home and um, having achieved the best for somebody in the mountains we decided as a family that we couldn't let all the wonderful things Martin had achieved in life but also you know his affinity with taking people to the mountains go really because it was just such a wonderful achievement in his life we decided that you know we would we would set up the foundation in Martin's memory and um, Martin would be absolutely delighted with that
We aim to take 16 to 18 year olds who have challenges or barriers which they face to get into the outdoors, but they have a passion for it and we want to give them a week long course and all the equipment um, to go and do that themselves. I've recently read both of his books again um, to kind of remind me of his feats and his stories and um, I think during dark spots I think I'll be thinking about how he was able to just push himself through so many difficult challenges, multi-day trips or difficulties you know, during a, a child and mountain rescue so I think I'll just be thinking about just keeping going, keeping one foot in front of the other and just keeping pushing myself like he did on so many trips. Hi mate. How you doing? I don't know if you want to take some layers off maybe. Yeah. Well, I'll start with. I'm take... I think we'll, we'll be going quite quick actually. So. <laughs> How's it been okay? It's been good. We're ahead of schedule so. Oh man. Hmm. How's that? Yeah. I feel good. Honestly, I've half it alright. Hit the best man. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so good. When I was thinking about the round, it made sense to have a, a good team of support runners for a couple of reasons. One, to, to push me to make sure that I'm making the pace I need to make to try and get under 24 hours. A support team is essential for that. But one of the largest reasons of having a support team is for the safety aspect. The support runners are, are quite a mix actually. Um, so I, I've got a, a number of Todd and Mountain Rescue who know these hills incredibly well. Um, and also from a safety aspect, they are great people to have. And some other strong runners that I've, I've met at sky running races and hill races all over Scotland. I'm going to have two night sections where I'll be needing to move well in the dark. And given that the terrain is so rough, having people to help me if, if I'm going through a, a few moments is, is going to be really crucial to whether I succeed or not. I suppose for me, when I thought about this round, I didn't expect so many people to be so supportive and so many people to be so up for helping me. But I also know that I, I, I don't think it would have been possible for me personally to do this round without these people because um, I know they're going to be carrying me at points and you know making sure that I, I'm keeping to my pace and I think I will have a few dark patches and I think the support team is going to be crucial in that. Go on lads, you're looking strong. Are you smashing it? <laughs> Good effort. Final hill is Ben Damp. And I'm just going right up the rear side of Ben Damp, which is really steep, grassy, quite rocky in stages, but I think at that point I'll be I'll be knowing that I'm nearly there. And getting to the top, I'm hoping to have um, some family members there to, to guide me in. And after the Ben Damp descent it's just a few kilometers along the road um, where you know I think I'll know I've done it by then. Good evening how's it going? Oh good round yeah. How are we doing? Stopped your watch. <laughs> 20, 20 hours, 51 minutes, and 47 seconds. Thanks, John. Woo! Thanks, John. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys. Couldn't have done it without you, honestly. Um, I still think I'd be on Benny if it wasn't for you guys. So, <laughs> that's appreciate for everyone who came. Oh. Made it a special day. Thanks. Thanks.
Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Martin. I hope Martin would be proud. Martin would be very proud of you sitting down, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Joy. It means a lot. It means a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yesterday, I think, was, um, yeah. Absolutely incredible. I don't know if it could have um, could have gone any better, to be honest. Um, everything that I could have imagined it could have been and, and more, just an amazing day in my favourite hills in Torridon with a load of great people supporting me, you know, just a nice long day in the hills with your mates, I suppose, but um, the views were spectacular and the special feeling of these are, you know, your home hills. And it's like a, a dream come true because like something you'd always thought about and want to do, but um, never sure if you're quite good enough or could quite achieve it and then all just come together on the day and just going so smoothly and better than expected so a day I think I always remember yeah well I hope someone comes in and has a go and I'd like to see the lines they take and uh, hopefully someone comes and breaks it be fun. yeah and that's the time set and looking forward to seeing who has a go next and yeah that's the point so yeah someone else doing it in Martin's memory so that's it yeah hmm. I think Martin would be um, slightly envious Martin was, was, was a competitor and, and someone that was always looking to, to test himself to, to the limit and some of the challenges he did was, was way over you know 20 hours so I think it would have been a walk in a park to him but doing the, the round in memory of him yeah I think it probably suited him he, he loved these wild hills and he, he loved the the ridges that I went across and I hope he would have been proud.